Welcome to my channel Doll Talks from a Shot Lady. In this video on technical writing, I'm going to be talking about special notices. Now, the reason I'm going to talk about special notices before I move to user instructions is because when you write instructions, you will require to insert special notices at different places. So, let us see what is a special notice. It is an important information readers must know in order to understand and accomplish tasks efficiently. Special notices have two purposes. The first one is it can prevent damage to the equipment. And the second purpose is it can prevent damage to self and to others. So how many different notices are there? Basically, there are four of them. The first one is a note. The second one is caution, the third one is a warning, and the fourth and last one is a danger notice. Now I would like to draw your attention to the formatting and also the color coding. For example, the word danger is written in capital letters and the box is color coded in red and you will notice that the text starts immediately after the colon and the text also comes in the second line after the danger word. Please note the other colors of blue, yellow, and orange for warning. So let us take each one and see an example. The first one I'm going to be talking about is a note. A note is a helpful hint, sometimes a tip to help the user work more efficiently. Now, without a note, a user may lose precious time and get frustrated while trying to understand why something is not working. You may ignore a note, but then you will lose a lot of time, but at least nothing more harmful will happen. Moving to the second special notice, which is a caution. A caution warns the readers about possible damage to the equipment or to your data. Here is an example. Please note that it is color coded in yellow. Moving to the third one, a warning explains about the possibility of minor injury to the user or to others around the user. For example, the warning given here on the right hand side, it has a orange color coding and it talks about the welding area and the possible risk of eye injury or blindness. So it is telling you not to watch the arc. Moving on to the last one, which is the danger notice. A danger notice warns readers about the possibility of serious or fatal injury to themselves or others. And here is an example on the right -hand side. Please note that it is color coded in red. It is written in capital letters and talks about alligators and snakes in the area and it's asking you to stay away from the water and tall grass. Before I come to the end of this video, I'm going to talk about a few formatting instructions that we need to follow while writing special notices. The first one is that we need to place the special notices exactly where needed. For example, if you're learning how to ride a bike and you already send your legs on the hot silencer, there is no point telling you to stay away from it at the end of the instructions in do's and don'ts. So the point is we need to close the stable doors before the horse has bolted. And therefore the special notices need to be placed exactly where they're beneficial to the reader. The second part is that we need to highlight the special notices by either making it bold or using italics or caps lock to increase the visibility and minimize the chances of the reader missing out on them. And the last thing is that we must use standard color coding for each special notice. As I've already mentioned before, we use blue for note, yellow for caution, orange for warning, and red for danger. With that, I come to the end of this session. For more videos on this topic, please refer to the description box below. The name of my channel is Toll Talks from a Shot Lady. And with that, I will say thank you and bye.